In this video we will investigate microwave propagating behavior in the presence of a waveguide. The waveguide is made of corrugated plastic sheet because it's quite light and strong enough to give mechanical support for the conducting material of the waveguide. An aluminum tape is used as electrical conductor. The corrugated plastic sheet is covered by aluminum tape and cut to 80 mm width to match the size of the horn antennae of microwave transmitter and receiver. The length is 740 mm. The corrugated plastic sheets are then assembled to form a long hollow square prism. Now the waveguide is installed to convey the microwave from transmitter to receiver. The distance between receiver and transmitter is set according to the waveguide's length which is 740 mm. The receiver shows intensity beyond maximum range. When the waveguide is removed, the intensity drops to only 30%. Let's check if the waveguide changes polarization of the microwave. It seems that the microwave polarization state is not affected by the waveguide. The receiver only shows vertically polarized microwave, just like the transmitter's orientation. Let's see if the waveguide can somehow change the direction of microwave propagation beyond ordinary reflection. The side end of the waveguide has been squarely cut to place the receiver perpendicular to the waveguide axis. The receiver doesn't detect the microwave, even when the square piece is put up to the end of the waveguide. Now let's set the square plate so that it reflects the microwave to the receiver. By rotating the receiver, we can see that the reflected microwave still has vertical polarization angle. Now the bottom and top side of the waveguide have been removed. The distance is set to get maximum intensity scale. When the top side is reinstalled, the receiver shows intensity beyond the maximum scale. Now the transmitter has been rotated to horizontal orientation. Note that the length of the waveguide has been cut by 80 mm to perform previous experiment. Now it is only 660 mm. The receiver shows 40% intensity. And when the waveguide is removed, the intensity drops to almost 30%. Now we reverse the position of the transmitter and receiver from side opening of the waveguide. The receiver is still unable to detect the microwave.
Let's explore if the waveguide still works for our literary angle. We found the too large angle prevent the microwave from reaching the receiver. But a small angle it can still propagate well.